Hi everyone. Compute the cost function for the given data set using logistic regression. The data set is having two samples, sample number 1, sample number 2. So here m equal to 2. Then which is having the feature x1 and actual output capital Y. Logistic regression will always have the categorical values as a uh, value for the output. Uh, here the output to be transforming into the numerical numbers for processing by the model. So S yes is uh, transforming into the 1 and no is transforming into the 0. So these are the values we are going to use as your actual output during the execution of our model. The given sigmoid function for the hypothesis y dash equal to 1 over 1 plus e minus g. Now the theta 0 is given randomly 1 and theta 1 is given as uh, 0 0.5. Now we are going to calculate the g value here. g is theta transpose x equal to theta 0 plus theta 1 x1. Just we are having only one feature that's why we are stopped with the theta 1 into x1. Then we are substituting the values of this theta values here. Now we have the g function. Now in the iteration number 1 we are going to calculate for the g1 for the sample number 1 here uh, you will get the 1.5 and g2 here you will get the 2.0 for the sample number 2. Now you are going to apply the sigmoid function on the g1 for hypothesis function uh, for the sample number 1. Uh, 1 over 1 plus e power minus 1.5 which is given here then you are getting 0.871. So whichever value which is greater than 0.5 it will be transforming into the 1 by the sigmoid curve. So here we will have the sigmoid curve. So it is the 0 here uh, threshold value 0 0.5 here it will be a 1. So whichever value which are available uh, greater than 0 0.5 it will be a 1 and whichever value it will be uh, less than 0 0.5 which is added into the 0. So now the first sample is 1 which is predicted uh, as a 1 for the first sample y dash. Then sample number 2 apply the g sigmoid function you are getting the 0 0.881. So here the predicted value for the uh, sample number 2 is 1 but the actual value is here 0. So now this is error. Sample number 2 is having the error. So one sample is predicted perfectly. Second sample is not classified perfectly. So we are applying the cost function uh, binary cross entropy here. Uh, minus 1 by a number of samples m and summation of i equal to 1 to m. Uh, actual output into uh, log of predicted output plus 1 minus actual output into log of 1 minus predicted output. So uh, here we are substituting the values. So 2 is the number of samples here into uh, first sample y, uh, y1. Y1 is here actual output here which is given here and predicted output here Y dash so that is given here then uh, 1 minus Y dash here 1 one is the 1 minus and y, uh, y i actual output of the first sample this one and into log of 1 minus Y i dash so here Y1 dash so 1 we are substituting then sample number 2. Sample number 2 here actual output is the 0 y into log predicted output 1 and uh, plus 1 minus y i. So y i is y 2 is the 0 and uh, log 1 minus y i dash. So y 2 dash is 1. So now when you are substituting the values you will get uh, finally, uh, here this term will become 0, this term will become 1, so it will give 0 0.5. That means 50 percentage of error. That's what here uh, second sample is misclassified and first sample is correctly classified. So out of two, one is misclassified and one is correctly classified. That's why we got the 50 percentage of error. So since the cost is 50 percent, then we have to uh, check the gradient descent to minimize this cost uh, by updating the parameter values theta by using number of iterations. Thanks for watching.